Hi, if you have a cracked screen on an iPhone 11 with just a $20, you can find a screen replacement and get the phone repaired. So this is the replacement screen. And what I'll do is I'll link it down in the description below where you can buy it through either Amazon or eBay. All right, the first thing I like to do is to remove the two screws here. I'll be using the 0 0.8 Pentalope P2. Now, because you're dealing with broken glass, I highly, highly recommend you must put on the safety goggle, protect your eyes at all times because you do not want any broken glass flying to your eyes or your face, which may cause more damage to yourself, right? So always safety first. Next, I'll be using a metal prying tool. I'll be sticking in between the phone and the screen, right about this much. As you can see in between the screen and the base of the iPhone so what I'm doing right now is to cutting the adhesive because the phone is water resistant it prevents water or dust getting into the phone so I need to have the uh, adhesive being cut therefore I can open up the screen Alright, as you can see that adhesive is still holding down the phone right around there. You can just kind of cut it off. Flip the phone to the right and hold it at 90 degree angle. Next, I'll be using a tri screwdriver. This is a tri tip. Once I've removed five of the screws, remove the bracket. Okay, I just disconnected the two of the flex cable, which is for the screen. At this point, because I did not shut down the phone, I would like to disconnect the battery. Uh, some of you may say like I should disconnect the battery before I disconnect the uh, LCD screen. Um, which is true, but it is okay to do what I'm doing right now, in my opinion. Um, but we're gonna find out if if it really damaged the phone because some of some of the viewer might say like, oh, by doing that you might damage the phone. But I don't think so. Anyway, just leave it as discussions. Okay. The next step is to disconnect the uh, cable on this. All right, so what I need to do is to transfer the year speaker, the proximity sensor, over to the new screen. This is still the Y screwdriver, that little tri shape. I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. There are three Phillips, one, two, and three.
So at this point, let's pay attention to that little metal piece right here. We need to save that little metal piece. Be very gentle because there's a sticky adhesive holding it down together. Right now, this is the new screen. Let's transfer it over. The metal piece. Close it down. Okay, once you have done with that process, the next step is to reconnect everything back together. So let's go ahead and reconnect the, uh, the front speaker, the proximity sensor. They're just like Lego. All you have to do is just to make sure you align them in the right position. And then just gently pressing it down. Let's reconnect the flex cable for the screen. Reconnect the battery. Make sure you align the bracket. We are going to reinstall the bracket back to the screen like such. So you want to be very careful with the last screw because that would be right underneath the flex cable. Okay.
this point, you want to align the one on top first, making sure the top is sliding. Focus around the side of it. Press it down and turn on the phone. Okay, the Apple logo comes on. Do not forget the two of the screws here at the bottom, which is the 0 0.8. Again, with as little as $20, you can get the phone replaced. And as you can see that the touchscreen works. All right, so there you go. I'll link it down in the description below. Uh, check out the link to Amazon or eBay. And again, if you do like this video, uh, if you find this helpful, please go ahead and smash the like button for me. I really appreciate that. And uh, if you want to share your gratitude to show appreciation to support the work on my channel, please go ahead and click on YouTube Super Thanks, which allow you to share the gratitude. And um, I hope all the best. Bye now.